Hello, everybody. This is Lorraine Purcell um, with your free training on Wednesday night, Earth Angel Empowerment Training. And um, I help women all over the world learn how to stand in their power, take it back, take back their lives, and um, stop playing small, which is because this is the first time that we've really been able to do that as women, men too, some of, some of them, but um, it's like we've had centuries of having to hold ourselves back for fear of retribution, either getting killed or jailed or it's in our DNA through centuries of having to behave. And so my work is my path. I help women with what I have expanded into, which is a powerful woman, actually a global thought leader on the subjects of um, overcoming depression, anxiety, panic, fear, self-doubt, guilt, and shame, because we have behaved for so long, and as earth angels, the sense who put other people ahead of themselves, love other people, People more than they love themselves we have made our second third fourth fifth a jillionth place putting everybody else ahead of us and so what happens because of that is that we um, hold on I'm gonna tag my other groups hold on we um, make ourselves small. Share, share to a group. Earth Angel School, Women's Self Love, Your Great Big Life, and Get Happy, Stay Happy. Okay, good. We're shared. Um, so it's like the biggest challenge, and I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about, but there's usually some kind of big blocks in our way. Sometimes it's even ancestral and DNA like, like from our memories, from past lives, or even our, this present life. You know, people that we've associated with, often it's a boyfriend or a husband who wants us to behave a certain way. And you know, we're guilty of it too. I would really like you to act this way so that um, I can feel more comfortable with you so I can continue to love you. And what I encourage myself and my women to do is to not lose their lives, stay in their energy, stay in their power and almost like the rebellion, you know, it's like, why conform? The person that you're with probably fell in love with you because you were edgy. You weren't conforming. You didn't try to bend over backwards for that person. You, you were yourself. And so it's the journey back to being our true 100% self. And just letting you know that um, this coming Saturday, I'm doing a three-hour live-streamed workshop in front of a live, small, intimate group um, where it's, it's called living your life's pur finding your life's purpose and then the courage to live it because it's one thing to know that you have gifts, you have a calling, but it's that thing that I just talked about that keeps us small and holds us back and, um, keeps us behaving because we're so afraid of what people will say, what people will think, will they criticize us? Will they find fault with us? Yeah, they probably will. And you just have to get to the point where it, yes, even though they do find fault with you, it's still not enough not to live your soul's calling. And your soul's calling is that thing inside of you that even though you have a family that you love,
love, you have children that you love, you have a husband that you love, there's still something else. Um, our faiths are not supposed to be our end-all, be-all. Because here's how I know that. They leave. They leave. Your children leave. And if they want to be with you, that's one thing. It's not a guarantee that they're going to want to be with you. So you have to have a life outside of your family, which is your soul's desire, your hobbies, the things you're interested in, painting, writing, um, exercising, becoming an instructor, um, going back to school, continuing school. Certainly when your kids are really little, yes, um, it's important. As soon as you can, I'm all about empowering them to do the things that make them responsible for their lives. Because if we don't, we're enabling them or actually handicapping them so that they don't know how to function in the world. So that's my my big you know soapbox in a, a snapshot. And that is... You must live your great big life in order to stay interesting to your partner, in order to have your children want to be with you when they no longer have to be because you've got a life and you're interesting. You're not needy and clingy. They know that you're going to go for it. You're going to go for what inspires you. And because you're going to do that, you're going to make them inspired to do the same thing and expand beyond their fears. You know, that's the big thing, right? In the workshop on Saturday, finding your life's purpose and then finding the courage to live it because you probably know that you have a lot of gifts, but you're afraid to give them. You're afraid to perform your music. You're afraid to give your speeches. You're afraid to follow that big vision that you have in your mind, the vision that doesn't go away, the one that keeps coming back and keeps coming back and keeps coming back. And, um, oh, by the way, that workshop, um, it's on this Saturday. Um, if you want to attend with us, it's at um, LorrainePurcell.com forward slash purpose. LorrainePurcell.com forward slash purpose. And um, I've been able to wangle a discount for my community. So um, I hope you'll join us because we're going in for depth for three hours. There'll be about a 30 minute um, integration, intermission while the guests eat their retreat meal. And then we're gonna be back at it. So it's gonna be so much goodness, so much goodness. Um, it's one of my passions for myself. And so that's what I, obviously go on and help my women with. So um, I hope you join us. LorrainePrisil.com forward slash purpose. Um, but I had a, an incident that happened today. I have been fluctuating between blissful and really good for a long time now. And I used to be chronically depressed. I used to be suicidally depressed for my entire life until six years ago. And in these six years where I got off antidepressants, um, it's been, I've been decoding and reverse engineering depression so that I could just feel happy. And um, it's like, wow. And I've had lots of, you know, lots of this, the emotional wave. But I've been working so much in the energy and the things that I teach my women that um, it, it works. It works. And I have not had a bad day since I can't remember. And I wouldn't say that today was a bad day. Um, I've had some rough days, but I know how to deal with it because I understand what depression is what doubt is, what fear is, what anxiety is. I know what those things are and I have the tools to work with them. And that's what I work with my women on. So something in me, the rebel in me, kind of like the bratty teenager, I started noticing, you know, cause I, you know, I'm all about love. Earth angels are all about love, right? Love and positivity and keeping our energy high and 
high and clear is the way that you stay out of depression, keeping your energy high and clear. I've done brilliantly at that to the point where, like I said, I'm going between bliss and really good. Bliss and really good. Bliss and really good. And you know there's a scripture in the Bible that says, be not weary in well-doing. And I think I did get weary in well-doing. And so I started just exploring, uh, well, what if I did feel the... Um, the dissatisfaction at my neighbors for throwing their cigarette butts. Um, I live in an apartment house. And so uh, I started noticing, and then I started feeling these, these really yucky feelings. And I started indulging in them and noticing them. And I got really off track. And so it was an Sometimes I just have to do this as an experiment to go, well, is it really true that if we keep our energy high and clear and we keep our thoughts high and clear, we discipline our mind, that um, that's going to work? Well, sometimes I just have to do the scientific experiment and see what happens if I do the opposite. If it really does take me down and it did it took me down so um, not proud of it not proud of it gave into my complaining mind and you know what it was like oh my god it was a place today that I would be happy if I never went back to but I think sometimes it's good for me because I'm like you know the expert on this I get sought out for global summits uh, once a month for uh, coming out of depression and for self-love and for me to once in a while dip into it and remember what it's like I think it's important for my work so I I just was a mess my attitude really sucked and you know how it is when your attitude gets suck it's like other things that are suck come along and they come along it's the law of attraction sometimes I, I'm like I want to test that and well it really is true <laughs> I'm here to tell you it really is true and so I effing suffered I suffered and I suffered the consequences of allowing myself the indulgence of paying attention to those thoughts and nursing them along and going, yeah, yeah, I do feel this way. And I'm, I'm like, ooh, not a pretty thing. Nothing was helping me feel better. Nothing was helping me feel better. And then I'm like, The Power by Rhonda Byrne. Highly recommend that book or the audio. And I just started listening to The Power and it just was like, yes, 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 that's it. Love is the power. Love is the power. And being thankful is the power to change our entire life around. And I, I got soundly back on track this afternoon from starting to just wash myself that information. Love, 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 love. love. Love, 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 love. Thank you, 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 thank you. And I'm just starting to get it all back again. And so, like I said, once in a while, it's almost like a scientific experiment. I just have to see, well, is this just my imagination? Is the law of attraction really right? Is all of that stuff important? And um, yes, it is important. I'm here to tell you, yes, it is important. It is very important. It's very important to be so thankful for everything in our life. So thankful. I was even grumbling about one of my clients. And I'm not happy about that at all. And um, I'm embarrassed about it. But what I know for sure is that I have made a commitment to not coming on these live streams or to my community and pretend like I've got it all together and I'm Miss Perfect. 
And so I'm thankful and I love this situation because I have the opportunity to eat crow and let you guys know that I fell down. I skinned my knees. I picked rocks out of my hands emotionally. I went in the downward spiral and that thing just started sucking me down. It started sucking me down. I don't like it. I'm not going there for a long time, I hope, until the next time when I go, well, you know, this is, I just want to shake it up a little bit. It sucked. It sucked. It sucked. I didn't like feeling the anger. I didn't like feeling the resentment. I didn't like feeling the, I, I even felt a little hate there. And you know, if we fill ourselves with love, we don't even have to, um, looks like Giselle, hi Giselle. Um, we don't even have to um, go, why did I do that? And this is the biggest discipline of all. Thank you for the hearts, darling. This is the biggest discipline of all because, you know, I'm like, I teach this stuff. Why did I do this? I'm embarrassed. I'm really embarrassed. How can I not beat myself up? How can I just go forward? And it's the biggest temptation. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Giselle calls me queen mother. Um, how can I go forward not beating myself up because I did this scientific experiment and just turn the direct, turn a different direction? That's how you do it. You don't, um, all you have to do, this is what Rhonda Byrne says in this, she's the woman who uh, made the secret, by the way. This is what she says in the power. All you have to do is just think about what you want. Well, that's hard if you're holding yourself back with guilt. And I felt a lot of it today. I felt a lot of guilt today. But the good news is every time I go down like this, it's shorter. And I'm able to bounce back faster and accept myself even more instead of, going, oh, you were wrong, you were bad, you were wrong, you were bad. It's getting so much easier to just go, hey, I did this, and I did this, and I did this. And then to actually come on a live stream and tell you guys that I did this, it feels good because I don't think it helps anybody for me to pretend that I'm perfect. I think that intimidates people and I think it makes people feel bad. So I fell down. My life was sucking and it was the culmination of like playing with those negative thoughts for maybe about a week. <laughs> Actually, it started um, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Somebody asked a favor of me and would not let up. And I couldn't get out of it. And I started resenting. Hi, Vicki. Hmm. Oh, my God, girl. Wow. Wow. Wow, I love it, Vicki. I love it. Super, super, super lady. Bravo, 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 bravo. Just keep a close eye on it, okay, darling? Because we love you so much. So I started indulging with the resentment. I mean, it was important for me to notice my feelings. It was important for me to notice the feelings and let them go through me and then get back 
to what I wanted. But instead, I just kept letting, I, I decided to just keep, it's kind of like picking a scab, to just keep picking the scab of that resentment. And it, it then started spreading to a few other things. And then because I'd left the walls down on that first thing, that little bit of resentment, it then let a little bit more trickle in. And it wasn't that bad, but then all of a sudden it just started ganging up on me. And you know what? A lot of the good in my life has started to kind of like go backwards. So it's like I'm jumping back on and going, yes, 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 love, 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 love. Don't let my mind complain. It's poison, and we're the ones who get poisoned from it. They don't get hurt from it at all, the other person. We're the one that gets poisoned, and I'm just so glad. I'm so thankful that I went through this because it reminds me from time to time on how to get back on the horse. The horse of being an empowered earth angel who stands in her power, stands in her belief, gives the love, does the things with bliss and gratitude and the, even the things I don't want to do, find a place of love that I can do it from. Because if we don't, we are sunk. If we don't, we are sunk. We get bitter. We get resentful. We start turning ugly. We get wrinkles. It's like, no, no. And I'm so glad I went through that. And then I'm so glad that I can share it with you because this, the power by Rhonda Byrne is such a powerful tool. I highly recommend that book on audio and just listen to it and let it wash you. It's all about love is the power to completely change your life and gratitude saying thank you thank you Einstein said thank you a hundred times a day Einstein said thank you a hundred times a day thank you for all the little emojis I want to get back to that yes it's a discipline yes it's a strain yes it does not come naturally Except that there's nothing but the stream of well-being. How much are we letting it in? I was not letting it in. By allowing my mind to grumble, by allowing, indulging in those negative feelings, that thing just kind of momentum, right? Momentum down, 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 down. Now I'm starting to turn that around. It's kind of like turning the Titanic around, right? It's like have some momentum going the other direction. But it's staying the course, staying with what I know to be true, staying with it, staying with it, staying with it, staying with it. Plus, I have a doing a little new technology in this workshop that I'm live streaming this weekend. And um, I'm nervous. Uh, no, I, I don't want to say I'm nervous. I'm, I'm just like, God, it would be so much easier if I didn't live stream it, if I just recorded it and sold it like I did my three keys speech. Um, by the way, this Saturday, it's um, Finding Your Life's Purpose and the Courage to Live It is a three-hour workshop. I'm, I'm live streaming from an audience on Saturday, and um, the link to join us is at LorrainePurcell.com forward slash purpose. I'll put it in the, the comments. LorrainePurcell.com. forward slash purpose it's going to be powerful it's like combining two workshops that I've done before and um, hold on hmm. thanks Vicki Yes, and stress sucks the life out of you. Yeah. I, you know, and once in a while, I just have to play with it to go, oh, maybe it would be fun to, like, just indulge in, um, uh, you know, 
allowing myself to feel pissed. Allow, you know, and I was actually feeling some hate. <laughs> but you know what? I was feeding it. I was feeding it. I was fueling it. And that thing grew and got bigger. And so to, by today, I was really sucking. But I pulled myself back by just looking at what I want instead. And the only way we can do that, can I just tell you what I learned today? The only way we can do that is by loving ourselves and taking ourselves off the hook. I made a big boo-boo. I teach this. I'm sought out as a global summit expert on self-love and overcoming depression. And I just decided to see how far I could push it like a, like a spoiled little teenager. Yeah, I did that. I hope I got it out of my system for a little while because I'm not proud of it. <laughs> but what I am proud of is that I pulled myself back. And that I experimented. And every time I do this, it's like, yes, the stuff that I tell you guys three times a week on these live streams is real. It's real. It's not just fake. And maybe that's part of it, you know. Like I've taught this for so long. Sometimes I, I kind of go, really? Is it really that important? Kind of like prove it. And yes, I'm here to tell you. It's very important. So the importance of staying in love with ourselves, in love with others, and thankfulness. Thankfulness that we have legs that can walk, that we have eyes that can see, that we have an apartment to live in, that nobody else is throwing their stuff in, that we breathe, that our bodies are healthy or that they're, they're healing. And um, I do want to give a special shout out to um, Jackie Keck, who is on the other side now. And um, every time I tap in with her, she's just so happy. She's just flying around like a little bird. It's so cool. I've asked her to be one of my um, one of my guides. I've been talking to her a lot since yesterday. So Jackie, we just send you so much love, and I just know you're with us. <laughs> so she's up there with her departed husband and her departed son, and I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy for her, and I send so much love and um, compassion to her family but jackie we love you mm -hmm. and appreciate you so much and thank you for everything you brought to us on this planet just want to stop for a moment and give a pause for her ah <sighs> Thank you for being in our lives. And thank you for still being in our lives. So love is the answer. Anything in your life that is not working out, if you just send it love, if you send love to that, love to everything around you, love to, you know, love those who despitefully, love your enemies, love those who despitefully use, use you it's the answer because I went down by playing with that for the last three weeks and finally culminated today so I just want to see how much of this can I get away with I'm so proud of myself because I'm looking at what I want to do and the only way you can look at what you want to bring in and what you desire and let yourself feel that feeling is if you forgive yourself if you let go thank you if you let go of all of the guilt 
And I felt some shame today. I had some shame. So I let go of guilt. I let go of shame. And, you know, what I know is to just come here in front of you guys and go, this is what I did today. Because I don't want to... I don't want to ever act like I have it all together. I want to be a sought after leader. And I think that when you can admit to your insecurities and admit to your faults, I think that really helps. There, plus there's this really funny show called, um, it's in uh, the UK called, I think it's called Keeping Up Appearances hilarious <laughs> that this woman who's just oh you know running around always trying to be impressive and you know her family has to act this way and she has to have everything just perfect and it's just it's just like you watch it and you laugh because you see yourself in it so um i hope this is helpful tonight um i can't just get on here and just you know pretend I have to be honest with you guys. Vicki, scream in a pillow and let it out. Yeah. <laughs> or our favorite F word works too. Yeah. Um, may she fly with the angels. Yes, and she absolutely is. We love you, Jackie. Yes. She's just um, she's just up there. I saw her yes, last night just doing somersaults in weightlessness. Oh. And I don't want to say I miss her because she's still with me, right? She didn't go anywhere. Um, it's easier for me because I've been away from her physically for um, a little bit over a year now. So to me, it's the same. She's just not in her body anymore. Vicki, step over the line and let go behind and move on. I love it when you guys remind me of my tools. You know, I have so many of these tools that I've taught you guys over the last years that I forget them. Like, there's so many, right? And But I had to get myself into deep doo-doo to get myself back because I was getting weary and well-doing. And the real challenge is staying in it, staying in it, staying in the, in the feel good. And I just had to... I just have to be like a bratty teenager and go, yeah, and yeah, and then just kind of play with my mind and let it complain and not, like, nope, not doing that anymore. <laughs> Coming back from the edge again. But the real key, the only way to do that, the only way to be able to do that is you have to let yourself off the hook. You have to come back to loving yourself. You have to not let yourself feel guilt and shame and just say whatever you need to say to go, yeah. For me, it's coming to you guys. And, um, and hey, this is what I did. A comment here. Looks like it. Oh, thank you, Vicki. Vicki says she loves my lessons. <laughs> well, I live them. <laughs> that, that much you know. I live them. And I will, I promise you, I will never pretend that I have it more together than I do. I think that's one of the reasons why my stuff is so effective is because I do walk everything I talk. And I know that if I'm going to tell somebody to do something, I'm going to be doing it. There's nothing that I tell you guys to do or I suggest that you guys do that I don't do. Double-edged sword of being a counselor. <laughs> You give all kinds of people advice. Well, guess what? You have to live it if you want to live a congruent life. So I hope this has been helpful. And if you are feeling called to find, narrow down your life's purpose, um, it's, uh, I, I have a little story that uh, my neighbor, she was, missing not missing really but she just um we thought she wasn't here because we couldn't see her car but um 
it turns out that her son had taken it to the mechanic, but she kind of hibernates. She's older. So um, what the neighbor upstairs came down and he goes, yeah, you know, since her, her family, she's a retired teacher, and since her family moved um, to a, uh, a town, I don't know how far away, but I'm, I'm guessing a few hours away because um, she used to care for her grandson, you know, her, her, she ne was never the same as what he said, and then her little dog died. And you know that, but the moral of the story is what I've been teaching you and my women for so long, and that is we have to have a life outside of our family because they move, they leave, they get married, they get busy. We have to have another life. And in fact, it's the only way that they're going to want to spend any time with us because we're not needy then. I'm looking at my necklace. I've got this beautiful necklace that I bought at a mystery school. I think it's like, uh, I want to say it's tourmaline. I don't know if it is or not. But how do I say this? I believe everybody has a purpose outside of their family. And I'm not saying don't be the best mom and the best partner. I'm not saying that at all. Do those things. Hi, Latrice. So nice you're here, darling. Thanks for joining us. But for your satisfaction and for the health of your family and so that you're not losing your life to your family. I mean, you didn't come here just to have children. You have what I call your great big life. What is that thing? What is that thing that calls you? What is that thing that calls you? And that's what, what I'm after for your purpose. Certainly your family is part of your purpose. And while you're raising children, that's maybe your biggest purpose. But if you have thought of, dreamed of being a writer, I invite you to get up a half hour early on Saturday mornings and just write before everyone else gets up. You must feed your soul. And I believe that all of us have a purpose outside of our family. Certainly why we have a family, it's a big part of what our job is and what we're supposed to be doing. But I believe that everybody has a bigger life than their family. And the way, reason I know that, and even if you have a husband that, you know, you, your children leave home, um, he'd find you more interesting if you had a life outside of him because that's probably the person that he fell in love with so what is that purpose what is that purpose beyond your family what is that purpose and if you'd like help with that and support with that i have a workshop a three-hour workshop coming up on saturday called live find your purpose and the courage to live it finding your purpose and the courage to live it we're going to go in depth into what are your gifts? What are your natural inclinations? Because these are your, your calling, the things that come naturally to you. The things that come naturally to you. Like uh, I would be in the grocery store and people would just come up to me in the line and they'd just turn around and they'd tell me their life story. <laughs> I'm a natural counselor. People can just talk to me. Now I'm a counselor. I don't need to do counseling anymore. Um, but what is it with you that just comes natural? That you just think everybody has this gift, and so it's no big deal because it comes so naturally to you. That's more than likely your purpose. And then what's holding you back from living that purpose? That fear is what we're going to address and remove those blocks in this three-hour workshop. So if this sounds like something just really juicy for you to, you know, find out what your purpose is, 
find the courage to live it, find out what those blocks are so you can be more, 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 more powerful in your purpose and in your life. Go to LorrainePurcell.com forward slash purpose. LorrainePurcell.com forward slash purpose. I'm going to pin it. We're going to be live streaming. Yeah. Did I put that anywhere? <laughs> I think I was typing over my picture. <sighs> LorrainePurcell.com forward slash purpose. And then I'm going to pin it. There it is. Um, so I hope, hope this has been of service. I do these trainings every Wednesday night to angels. The people who put everybody before you, we tend to put everybody ahead of us. Um, we will throw ourselves under the bus before we could consider having somebody else's feelings hurt. We always think of other people's feelings instead of our own. And uh, we tend to be manipulated because we feel so guilty and so responsible for things that aren't even our responsibility. So um, I'm all about empowering us to know what's right for us, to pay attention to our heart and our gut and then to actually honor ourselves, to give ourselves what we need. I do this, uh, this training, this free training, another training on some aspect of being an empowered earth angel every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. I'm kind of toying with the idea of it being 6 o'clock because normally I'm yawning this time of night and it's kind of embarrassing. Um, 6 o'clock feels a little early, so I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I'm kind of toying with that idea. Um, but for now, it's still 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern. And um, every Monday, I have Fairy Godmother Monday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. And at 8.30 a.m. Eastern on Friday mornings, I do Body Talk Friday where we learn to tap into our bodies, listen to our bodies, talk to us. What does it need to rest and rejuvenate over the weekend? Because I'm... I want you healthy and living a long, prosperous, peak health life. And the way to do that is to really listen to our bodies. So I hope this has been of service to you. This is Lorraine Purcell, and we'll see you Friday morning. And um, join us for the workshop. It's going to be awesome. You get to live stream. Wherever you are in the world, you get to watch it live. And then you'll have also the video link to watch it again and again. All right. Talk to you later. Love you. So I'm, I'm sworn to love and thanks again. I'm through listening to all that other stuff. I am sworn to love and thanks. Blessings. May you be blessed and blessed and prosper. Everything works out for me. And love every day I wake up, every day a new chapter in your life. Vicki, you're amazing. You really are amazing. I love you so much, sister. Thank you for being in my life. Good night.